My obsession began down at the University of Arizona in my English Go Cats 201A freshman comp class. On the very first day, our professor let us know that we had carte blanche for the semester. We could write about absolutely anything we wanted to. Now, for most of us, this was our very first paper that we were writing in college, and all of my peers seemed really preoccupied with impressing our professor with seemingly dull topics like the politics of Border Patrol and how Walmart treats its employees. I, on the other hand, decided to go completely rogue and write about vampires. Yes, vampires. Now, this was before the Twilight and True Blood phenomena, so I had no clue what I was going to write about. I just chose vampires because I could. <laughs> and I knew that I would stumble across something great. And boy, did I ever. Because here's what I found. Somehow, we've either progressed or regressed from Dracula and Nosferatu to Edward Cullen. <laughs> it's a huge transformation. And what's really interesting is that the prototype of the vampire has become more and more human much more like you and I. So somehow, we're bringing this monster closer to us, so that it's almost a new breed of human. So what does that mean about you and me? But I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's take a look at the old school vampire. Let's take a look at Dracula, Nosferatu. Generally, this very first vampire was of European origin, they lived isolated from society out in some dark, dank castle somewhere. They generally preyed exclusively on women, with a few exceptions. They were hypersexual. They were completely grotesque monsters. And most importantly, they had no point of view, no backstory, no history. And that was perfect, because that was a monster. It was the furthest thing from human ever, and that was exactly what we needed for that time. Now, as time progressed, so did the version of the vampire. I would say that one of the biggest game changers in terms of the vampire was Anne Rice's interview with the vampire, both the book and the film, for very different reasons. Let's talk about the book first. It's an interview with a vampire. For one of the very first times in pop culture, Louis, our first person vampire, is driving the show. He's telling his story, and he has a history, and he was once human. So suddenly, this isn't a monster that's very far away from us. In fact, he's retained certain human characteristics, and dare I say, certain human morality? Also, as seen in the film, these vampires are no longer on the periphery. They're integrated into society, at least to a certain extent, because they look a lot more like you and I. Although I guess it's a little egotistical to say that we look like either Brad or Tom. <laughs> now, we move on to the vampire craze of now. Twilight, of course. This is the most human that the vampire prototype has ever been. Suddenly, they're fully integrated into society, so much that they go to high school with you and I. <laughs> True story. Also, they have the choice of being vegetarian. <laughs> yeah, because suddenly, they care about us as humans. In fact, they might even fall in love with us. <laughs> and of course, we can't forget that they're so pretty that they sparkle in the sun. Now, why should you care? Who cares? It's a completely valid question. But here's the thing. We feed in to the vampires in the mass media. We're the consumers. And we gravitate towards this new breed of human. We like it. It's a multi-million dollar industry now. There's hundreds, thousands, maybe even millions of dollars spent specifically on vampires. In fact, while I was looking for images for this very presentation, I found Barbies of Edward Cullen and Bella Swan. I was terrified. <laughs> but I have to say that I kind of get it. Because let's take a look at the new glamorized vampire. They're beautiful. They're suddenly affluent. They're immortal. They're the predator instead of the prey. So they're in control. If you ask me, the reason why we're pulling this specific monster closer and closer to us is that deep down inside, we all just want to be bitten. <laughs>